What's going on TW fans? Thomas here, excited to check out a new storage option with you guys. And this thing is pretty new here. I don't know a whole lot about it. Haven't gotten a lot of time to play with this thing. So we're gonna bring in a volunteer here to help us show us some of the specs and features of this bag. We're gonna bring in Kyle. He's a buyer here at Tackle Warehouse and more importantly, he helped design this thing. So he's gonna really help us explore all the features and tech specs of the new Tackle Warehouse Sling Pack. What's up, Tom? Hey, Kyle, man, thank you. Thank you for taking some time out and uh, checking out this cool new bag with us. So I got a ton of questions for you. I guess first, what was the purpose behind this thing? Why was it creative and when am I gonna choose this over maybe some of the other storage options we carry? Yeah, man, of course. So this is a TW Sling Pack. This bag was designed to be a lightweight, portable option with the bank angler in mind. We have other great bags, TW Angler Backpack, TW Tournament Tackle Bag. Those are bulky options. They hold a ton of tackle, they're more so meant for the boat. This bank angler in mind, pond hopping, creek wading, beating the bank around your local lake, reservoir. This is a portable lightweight option that you can take anywhere with you. And it actually holds a ton of tackle. Yeah, I mean, I like it. I mean, obviously, yeah, lightweight. I totally see how this is gonna be great, you know, hopping from stream to stream, whatever you're doing. Well, it's a sling pack. That's in the name. Absolutely. You got it. How am I wearing this thing? What's the proper well, way to wear this thing? Sling pack. Let's get that thing over your shoulder. Sling it over my shoulder. Got it. All right. Yep. Nice and comfortable. I could, yeah, I could cast all day in this thing. It looks it's good on you. Get in the way. Yeah, I like it. All right. Well, okay. So you're comfortable. Absolutely. You're walking down the bank. Sure. You can cast yeah. with ease. All day. Now, let's rotate that. Okay. So just bring it on around. Yes. Oh, yeah. Now, oh, I mean, it sits real You nice. have yeah. your entire tackle arsenal for a day of fishing right in front of you. Yeah, and again, I mean, you know what? Streamlined, like we were talking about, casting, absolutely, but you kind of hit on it earlier. I mean, I'm a little bit of a gear junkie. I like bringing a lot of stuff with oh, me. Yeah. I mean, me what, too. What can this thing hold? What, what all kind of store in this? Yeah, let's, let's go through all this. We got some cool. pockets to talk about. So we got the main pocket right here. This oh, yeah. pocket was designed to hold two 3600 style tackle trays. Yeah, let's pull out a couple of those here. So we got one here. We got a second one right here. Okay. Okay. Got some tackle for day on the water. Oh yeah, plenty. A couple secrets, but <laughs> also got the soft baits here, you know, standard Ziploc bag. You could put in other soft bait bags in there, sure. fit that in. So got that. And yeah. then from there, you have this side auxiliary pocket right here. Okay. So this could be used for a number of things. Tools, sure. reels, sunglasses, sunscreen. Oh yeah. Myself, I always want to have an extra reel ready to go. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I'm learning how to skip a jig. If I blow up a reel under a dock or something, that's no good. Yeah, exactly. Good one on, so if you want to, yeah, that, or if yeah. you want to switch from fluorocarbon to your braid reel and you can only bring one, two Absolutely. rods maybe, you got your reel. There we so, go. Let's get that back in there. Okay. And then from there, we got this front pocket. This is cool. a great storage pocket as well. You have this clear plastic mesh in the back. This is great for holding hooks, jig heads, you know, small terminal tackle, yeah. whatever you want to put in there. I got some pens in here, you know, you want to color up your craw trailers or whatever else. Yeah. Got that in there. Any tools can go in here as well. Okay. Got line in here, got another small jig box. Yeah. A nice tray to hold all your tackle in the front. So plenty of options to no, hold tackle. Definitely a ton of storage. I mean, I kind of noticed here like, this pocket, it's it, it's rigid. Is that just like an aesthetic thing or is there a reason behind this like rigid pocket? That's a great point, Tom. Yeah, this, this was designed to be rigid so it was a tackle tray. So you could actually, when you have the bag slung across your waist, you could rig up knots, hooks, no kidding. you know, leaders, whatever. It's This is your tackle table while you're on the bank. That's awesome. Yeah, no, that, I, I get it, yeah. It holds up there real well. I mean, look, I can leave a chick box in there. It's not gonna fall. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Kind of a reason behind everything. That's really cool. All right, so, I mean, we're not even done yet. I can see, yeah, there's that cool rigging station, but I got some stuff hanging off here. Everything seems to have a purpose. What else we got going on? We, got, we have a few more things here. So, you need pliers. You need scissors. Always. We have a hook and loop plier holder right here. Keeps those secure. You have your scissor holder right here. On your side, you have a water bottle holder with leash. This is a full size 32 ounce water bottle. That's nice. That's for a whole day of walking the bank. That's a nice touch. Yeah. That or yeah. if you don't want to put a water bottle in there, a couple packs of soft plastics, shove them down in there. Then you have this carabiner right here. Great for hooking on, um, you know, snips, any other tool. I mean, on the back side, you have some D-rings as well. You can see those there. That's great for hooking on more carabiners, more tools. So a few other auxiliary 
accessories to this bag. No kidding, there's a lot going on. I mean, this thing is pretty cool. It's streamlined. Like you said, I get it. This thing is gonna be great for, you know, hopping pond to pond, stream to stream, little lake to little lake. I mean, maybe you're on big water or surf fishing, anything like that along the coast. This thing is gonna serve a great purpose. Well, Kyle, man, thank you for taking us you know, top to bottom with this bag. A lot going on with it. If you guys wanna learn more about it, check it out. Scroll right down, you're on the product page. It's gonna be a cool one to have for any angler. Thanks everyone.